You all know we have this grand finale tournament, and we are finally in the next round. We have Dark Magicians going against Sacred Beast, two of my favorite decks that we've been running on the channel for a very long time. But it is time for one of their last hurrahs, as they are knocked out of the competition. And Mario certainly hopes it's going to be Dark Magician knocked out due to past history, so... We'll see how it really, goes. I'm going to do my best to use the dark powers, the dark arts, just to knock them out. Oh. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to go first. One, because Dark Magician do like going first. Two, because I think that Sacred Beasts take a little time to cook. So if I, you know, make you force a dark summoning beast summon on turn two, excellent. Well, let's see how we can start things. Not a lot of uh, huge moves I want to go for here, but we'll start by adding something to the hand. We have a Dark Magician in hand, we have a Magician Salvation in hand. So it might be as simple as getting a circle out on the field, to be honest. To do that, I'll be using a Magician's Rod. So let's add that to the hand. And we are going to send Preparation of Rites back into the deck, because it's really just a way to get my Illusion of Chaos. Anyway, we actually have a really good hand. Or at least a really playable hand. We're not getting any of the crazy plays out, but we're getting the complete and full foundation of Dark Magicians. So here we go. We will get your favorite card, the Dark Magic Circle. And see if we get a little bonus off Dark Magic Circle too, why not? And, okay, we did not, but that's okay. All cards are good in this deck. We will then use a little Magician Souls just to spice up things a little further. We'll want to get a Dark Magician Girl into play. And in this particular case, I think I'd like to... I could summon him out right now. That could be fine. Or I could just wait until Salvation does its thing. So, I don't have any spell cards I want to get rid of, so let's just special summon anything, doesn't matter. Um, we could use that to get rid of cards and draw more, but instead, I think we're just gonna... Eh, nothing wrong with getting a Wee Witch Apprentice on the field, or leaving two pieces on the field for you to have to contend with. You are running Sacred Beast, so I do have to be concerned with a large amount of attack points, but if I put out a Wee Witch Apprentice, that's still a threat either way, so sure, we'll leave the field as is. And it is your move. Now, I think I'm in a fantastic position, but I do know your field card makes it so I cannot target you, which is a big thing that Dark but Magicians you can, do. But you can target the field spell itself, though, which is what yes. I'm concerned about. So I can get to you eventually. I just can't immediately spot destroy your big play when it comes out if you get everything you want. Um, and assuming yeah. you go into the right order. Okay, you went for Dark Beckoning Beast. So I'm assuming you didn't have that or uh, one of the sacred beasts I didn't, in your hand. I didn't, no. All right. That was basically the only play I could make right now. <laughs> oh, not a single sacred beast in your hand? I, I do. Oh, you should have done Chaos Beck Beckoning Beast. That way you would get your field card and everything. Literally told you this before the duel, but hey. You know, if he's not going to play the deck to its full potential, Dark Magician win. That's the threat. Let's go. Well, you can at least get a Dark Summoning Beast play out here, or, you know, you could still do the Chaos Beckoning Beast if you want to go for that. If you haven't stopped yourself from doing that, or Chaos Summoning Beast, whatever its name is. So what's yeah. it going to be? What are you searching? Well, I already normal summon, so I don't think I can. You get another normal summon with Dark Beckoning Beast. That's the whole reason to play him. Right. Yeah, I'm going to do that then. All right, Chaos Summoning Beast. There you go. And then he spots the shot. Oh. <laughs> I could. <laughs> I really could. But I'm going to let you cook a little bit. Ooh, and we got Uriah out here. Now, I think in this position, I will destroy it before you get your field card out. Just because it's an obvious threat and you can destroy my spell cards with it. So I can't let you, you know, dance around and let yeah, that Yeah, I, I, I was going to just immediately target destroy your Dark Magical Circle. Exactly. So let's use our Banishment on that before you can activate your effect. It is not a quick play. And we'll summon the Dark Magician Girl onto the field. So you can still get your field card out, but you will not be getting the benefit of it since you don't have a um, Sacred Beast on the field. Yeah. And I'm not going to play it out right now because there's one reason for it. I could just banish it next turn if I want to. On my turn. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's a, that's a card we should probably remove later from some of our decks. The Link Rebo that's banned now. <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about Link Rebo the way we play with him, though. So, 
Yeah, like, it's not that because... big of a deal. Yeah, he was broken in other decks for other reasons. I feel like it was minor reasons too. Like, I don't even know the specifics. Didn't really bother, you know, researching it. So it's, it is what it is, not hyper important. Um, what do we have to offer now? We can destroy one of our spell cards. Not really any big use of that. Um, I don't have the ability to get anything fantastic onto the field, but I can use my Illusion of Chaos again to search a card to my hand, and it's going to be Tamias. Absolutely. We will return to the deck. Uh, how about that Illusion of Chaos? He served his purpose, and I'm probably about to win this, let's be honest. So, we activate this, sending a Spellcaster to the grave. Um, why not the one that I'm about to summon for free? Or I guess that one's going to be doing that. So we'll send Magician Souls for now. Out comes that. Lovely. And we will activate this to bring out who would be fun in this particular situation. Hmm. There's so many good cards. But let's see. We already did uh, the Knight of Dragon Magic in the last Dark Magician showing. So let's let Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, come out. Oh, wait, no, I want to use Dark Magician so I can get full benefit out of that. Here, we'll, we'll go basic. We'll get the Dark Magicians out here using you and you. Just a decent play all around. And, of course, special summoning a Dark Magician. Actually, putting out a Dark Magic attack would probably be the optimal move here. But we are doing a grand amount of things. So drawing a card. Summoning Dark Magician Girl. Banishing a card. Um, doesn't really matter. Nothing on your field does anything. So we'll do all that. I have too many spots on my field, so I can't actually summon this one in my hand, which is fine. And anything else spicy for us to do? I think we're good to go. This should be the game. Can't imagine it going anything otherwise. We have a flood of wonderful things to the field. We even got to keep our Tamias if we wanted to do another fusion play next turn, since we only used our spellcaster material. And dark and magic attack! Yeah, this is one of those... This part, Dark Magician's got everything they needed early yep. and was able to flourish. Yes, and I can just keep searching more stuff with my you know, newish ritual card and everything that comes with it. So, let's see if you're able to you know, play a I'm little faster. first this time. You want first? Okay. So certain yeah, Dark cause... Magician plays will not be able to go as easily here, and you'll be able to play unperturbed by Dark Magician's Banishment. Okay, I didn't draw... I didn't... I didn't banish double copies. Okay, thank Fantastic. goodness. Fantastic. So what opening are oh. we looking at here? Well, let's first off play the field spell. Not bad. Then let's... Really, on turn one, any opening is decent. Mm -hmm. And that'll get you any opening you want. Nothing wrong with whichever you choose now. I'm going to get my... Haman, or Ham, as you would like to call it. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can set up Haman with Her Cerulean Skyfire, I will actually be in trouble. <laughs> hey. Well, then. There it is. Yep. <laughs> when you said that, I was like, oh, God. Negating a Speller Trap of your choice, which is massive against Dark Magician. Not to mention, you can use your Fallen Paradise and... Oh, wait, no, you uh, extravagance this turn. But next turn, you can fall in paradise and draw more. I kind of had to because those gave me the cards I needed to yeah. do this. So. I mean, that's why I have it in the deck. Yes, it's, you know, doesn't really help you once you already have the fallen paradise, but sometimes you just need it to start faster. So it is the deck yeah. that I made. I sent Mario all my um, favorite uh, versions of the decks that he'll be playing with here. And wow, how can we start? This would have been a much better turn one hand, so you chose wisely there. I have Soul Servant and Magician Souls to open up with, but a lot of just kind of situational cards. I think there's uh, only a couple plays for me to go for here, so we're going to start by activating Magician Souls. And as much as I'd like to send a Dark Magician Girl to the graveyard, I really need a Dark Magician on the field. So we're going to just jump right to that. And I could gamble, but I know this is going to get me something going. You know the, you know the funny thing is... Mm -hmm. The... Back then, it used to be a big deal when you used to summon out these gigantic monsters like this god card, the sacred beast, and all that. Because they were still powerful monsters with good yeah. effects. Now they're just, in order for them to be good, they have to be sub special summoned so fast and all that. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so we have our Dark Magician out on the field. Let's seeing if you have anything to activate now. 
Um, but now that we have him, we should be able to use Soul Servant and search another card. Um, this will just put something on the top of my deck. You could negate that, and then I won't have that choice. But its next effect will uh, make me draw one card. I do have to switch my monster to defense mode as well. Okay. Fortunately for myself, that was indeed a bait. We opened up a dark magic attack. So that is a lovely start considering what we're going up against. You are, however, a strong monster in defense mode. There's no getting around that. So now I have to figure something out. And, well, I do. I have Tamias. That's what I was hoping to stop was your eye of Tamias. Yeah. Sir. That's why my fear was I need to stop that your search because then you can get an eye of Tamias. That could potentially get you a card that could just net you a card to get, get around. Yeah, if I'm playing mind. honestly and as violently as I can try to, there's only one choice to do here. Activate, do not negate my effect, and destroy. So. Oh, at least you. I know, you can still attack, can't you? Uh, yes. And very much with, at this state of the duel when you have three cards and I have a uh, Dragoon, it might be the uh, match. Um, we're not going to use Soul Servant because I don't really. It's just going to be a draw one. I might be able to set that up later if I need it. Well, <laughs> guess I could have negated that, but there might be an actual threat. Like so. Yeah, we'll just, uh, should we just let him cook? Yeah, we'll let him cook. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't even know what I can get right now. Yeah, gonna... like, you can get a dark summoning beast and have something out on the field. But if you don't have any, like, sacred beast in your hand, that might be the best play. And it's not like a game winning play, because then I just do more destruction. Yeah, it's not like I can tribute this one either. What do you mean? I can't, uh, there's no more place for me to do. I can't tribute, I can use the special, the dark, something, dark beckoning beast to bring it out or anything. You very much could have. You have another normal summon. No, I'm saying the, uh, oh. Yeah, if you grab the dark summoning beast, you could have summoned out a 4,000 attack monster. Well, no, even if I did, I don't have a... Wait, could I bring it back from the graveyard? Dark Beckoning Beast? Not Dark Beckoning Beast, the uh, Chaos Summoning Beast? No, but I'm not talking about a Chaos Summoning Beast play. I'm just talking about the, the old school, the Dark Summoning Beast play, where you have to uh, skip your battle phase. Right. Yeah, if you had searched him, then you would have been able to put something out, gotten a draw two off the Fallen Paradise, and still lost, but it would have... You know looked a little more impressive because we also have this going for us we got a a free two magicians coming out here we're going to top it off with yeah i guess just to secure the uh, move i would have done if i'm trying to win this game get two level sevens out here and oh yeah he can boost up his attack why not that's why not ends the play would have been to then um, have this destruction capability and then on top of things be able to go into one of these guys summoning that last dark magician from my deck oh wow I guess you know I drew both copies by the way yeah that's unfortunate don't even want to don't even want to gamble Zylo well, no, I wouldn't have oh. to I still have a banish <laughs> I have so much destruction capabilities here. Yeah, no, this was... I had a feeling this was going to happen. Oh, sorry. And yeah. I had a temporary negate of a spell card or a trap card on the field, too. Yeah, no. Dark Magicians just have the toolkit. Perfect for this matchup. Yeah, and once again, like, if you had gotten Fallen Paradise set out earlier and had, like, more of an oppressive field and I had a worse hand, it could have very much gone the other way. Yeah, but as like soon as Dark Magician get everything they need, they do move faster and more consistently. So uh, that's a real threat there. Um, yeah, no, I I had the Haman. I used the card as best I could to get the field. It's not like I was able to get the uh, the trap card set up. Like if I would have gotten the second one or something. Yeah, I will say my hands allowed me to play a little too fast for you to set up a, a really um, overwhelming field. Like I don't think I could have won against this setup of Dark Magicians. 
even if I was playing those Sacred Beasts. So it is what it is. We did assume Dark Magician would be the stronger deck here, um, but it, it's a shame to see them get crushed so badly, but it is what it is. Sacred Beasts are we, out of this competition. Sacred Beasts, at the end of the day, we know that they're one of the better God card decks. We just know that we, but we already know that they're not gonna be, they're a gimmick deck at the end of the day. They're not yeah, gonna like, win any they real They were tournaments. the God card, the best God card deck for a good long time. But then other things started getting support. So now they're just good. They're not better than the other God card deck. Like a raw deck is still probably a little better than these guys. And obviously the Nordic Nordics. are better than these guys. And Exodia is better than these guys now, if you want to lop that in with them. So they had a really good duration, good time to shine with uh, their new cards when they would did come out years ago. But they've been a little eclipsed since then. Regardless, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And uh, we're excited to see the next matchup where Dark Magician have to go up against either Toons or Dinosaurs. Toons might be a similar match of this. If they get their setup, then Dark Magician can't hit them. But Dinosaurs is just... That's a scary Dinosaurs. match. So we'll see which one of those wins. That'll be the next video coming up. Hopefully you're ready for it, and we'll see you then. See ya, folks.